Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking into the find function in Excel. The find function allows you the ability to find a specific character within a string. So what we have here is some dummy data where we've got some products and some prices. So what I'm going to do first is look for the letter A and for it to be capitalized. So what I'm going to do is type in find and then I'm going to look for the letter A and I'm going to look for it within this text here. So if I press enter, apologies, put the double quotes instead. So as you can see here, it's found the letter A here, so capitalized, so it's in the first position and it hasn't found any of these A's here because it is case sensitive. So obviously if it's capitalized, you'll find it. If it's not, it's not going to return anything. So that's why it's come back with this here. So for the next example, what I'm going to do is simply now look for A, but in lowercase. So if I do equals find, this time I'll do lowercase and I'll do it within the text here. Now you can see here it's not returned that first A here because that's capitalized and it's returned the first A here so in the second position so it will just return that that essential letter that you've that you've looked for at the first instance so and then here obviously it's returned it in the third position so that's that one and then for a last example what we're going to do is again is then do find this time we're going to look again for a but lowercase again and then we're going to look within this text here but we're going to do a starting position of three so essentially it should then return this a here which will be position four so let's see if that's worked so as you can see there that's now worked so it's returned the the fourth character which is the a and as we as we started it from position three that's the first one that pops up and that one is obviously in the third position so it's returned A. So yeah, very useful when you're looking for a particular character um, or whatever it might be for, for your particular use case. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.